Hey there you guys, today's wig is brought to you by alphahairwigs.com. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. So this is what your wig comes in. This box is so cute. When you open up the box besides your wig, you also get a few goodies. But your wig come in that long clear plastic. You get a nail file, a wig net, some lashes, and also Alva Hair Wigs hair manual. The wig that they sent me was a lace front wig. The curl pattern comes really nice. On the inside of the wig, you get a lot of parting space. You get about six inches of parting space. You also get three combs towards the front, another comb in the back with adjustable straps. There's also lace on the nape area, so don't forget to cut that. They bleached the knots slightly, but I am gonna go in and bleach the knots some more. And also the hairline does come pre-plucked. Like I said before, I am going to go in and bleach the knots. Um, it's pretty same as everybody else. You know, you get your bleach, your developer, I use 30 volume developer. And then sometimes I go in with just a little bit of a door eggplant dye just to like help tone and bleach at the same time. So to get the flyaways out the way, I'm going to use my freeze blast spray and just remove all the flyaways. Now, with this, I'm just going to go in with a butter knife. I use this knife only to bleach my wig knots. And I just hold like the front of the lace as flat as possible just to spread it on kind of like butter. It's kind of hard. It's not as easy as it looks. So just be careful. Some people like to like lay it flat on their block head or mannequin head and bleach the knots. But I notice sometimes when I do that, sometimes I get hot roots. Hot roots is when the bleach sink through the lace and then get on the roots of the wig. And that is not cute. Ugh, I hate hot roots. So this is what works for me. I'm not gonna bleach all of the lace because I'm not using all of the lace. So I just mostly beach, beach. <laughs> I just mostly bleach towards the front of the wig and the right side part because I would mostly wear this wig as a right side part. So now I'm just trying it on, then after that I'm going to go in and cut the lace while the wig is still on my head. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 340 and just apply it underneath the lace. I'm just mostly applying it to the spots that I bleached my lace. And I forgot to mention to bleach my lace it only took about 30 to 55 minutes. A lot of you guys usually ask me where do I get this spray bottle. I got mine from Cosmoprof, but you can also get it from Sally's Beauty Supply Store and also off Amazon. I was playing around with the baby hairs trying to decide if I wanted some and I did. So now I'm just gonna go in and add some baby hairs. 
but when I'm styling the baby hairs first I style it with my matrix mousse then after that to get it to lay down and stay in place I'm gonna go in with my yellow got to be glue spray but also the baby hairs is just a little too thick so I did go in and tweeze it out a little bit and let me not forget to mention before even though I did mention this I mentioned that the hairline comes pre-plucked the way the hairline comes I did not go in and pluck it anymore this is how the hairline comes Right here is pretty much my end results and I think this wig is really cute especially for every day and especially on those hot days for the springtime that's coming up in the summertime. Really nice length, super cute. So the density on this wig is on the medium side, not too thick but also on the low side, really natural looking. As for shedding, I am getting some shedding, but I'm guessing because the hairline is pretty plucked a lot, but I really like the hairline and how it comes plucked. So hopefully over time that stops. The hair is really soft and nice. As for the curl pattern, the curl pattern is really nice too. Also, another great thing, I didn't have to go in and add layers. The layers come really nice and natural looking. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later, you guys.